ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, good afternoon and a warm welcome to the Institute of Directors, East Yorkshire Branch's third Humble Luncheon. Previously, the branch has brought you Rory Underwood, Karen Brady, and today we continue to raise the bar. And our guest speaker today is the Right Honourable Michael Portillo. You know, it's marvellous to be here. I, I have the greatest respect for the IOD, which I'll say something about in a moment. But, you know, what a fantastic, a fantastic gathering they get together. You know, 240 people here today. And it's been my privilege to meet a lot of you. And I must say that you lot all the way through lunch have reminded me of something. It's come back to me now. There was an occasion when the Home Secretary uh, visited a maximum security prison. And... Uh, <laughs> And when he got there, he said, you know, they said, you know, Home Secretary, leap up on the parapet and we will line up all the prisoners in front of you and, and you can make a speech to them. And they were a pretty motley crew, actually. They were muggers and burglars and thieves and rapists and arsonists and murderers and, uh, and Jeffrey and Jonathan. And, uh, and they, they, you know, the Home, Home Secretary had a pretty good idea what sort of speech to make. But, you know, how on earth do you begin? You can hardly say it's an immense pleasure to be with you all today. Uh, neither can you say, you know, rarely do I have the opportunity of addressing such a distinguished audience as this. And so in the end, he, he, he just got exactly the right phrase. He said, I just can't tell you how pleased I am to see so many of you here today. <laughs> uh, well, organisations like the Institute of Directors provide a place where people can network so that new business connections can be made. I mean, I'm standing in front of tables set for 250 people. So today is just that sort of gathering. I think the other thing perhaps is to help to put a region uh, onto a map. I mean, good things are happening in the uh, Yorkshire and uh, Humberside area, uh, and people need to know about that. And the Institute of Directors is an organization that helps to tell the co coherent story of the investment and the new opportunities that there are in this part of the country. The importance of it, you can see it now, it's happening behind us, it's people getting to know each other or people reacquainting themselves because all too often people are sat behind the desks uh, you know that that's where things happen you come here and chance conversation something of that nature you can do some business or you'll say I haven't seen you for a long time you know pop in and see me and that's where business and we all we all rely on each other that's the local economy I was there for Karen Brady to get Michael Portillo big draw I understand from speaking to a few people around the tables not just the whole market, it's really gone out on a regional basis. It's stimulus to the local economy, people start trading and talking to each other. Uh, very much as a chairman you become a facilitator or with people who want to meet other people. They've got a, um, a task in mind, they want to meet somebody to achieve an objective and, and that's what we're there for. In another hand, we're getting to grips with policy issues. We've had uh, Councillor Carnaby here, unfortunately Councillor Millers couldn't make it, but we're getting to the strategic partnerships where we're going to have an influence. Private sector needs to be protected. It's not about them selecting who goes on from the business, it's about business selecting those people who are going to represent their interests greatly. Uh, with an event here today, people start emerging, we start to know each other and, and hopefully lead on from there. I think the real outcome, and I think you know, we, we get, you know, this area is getting itself on the map, with things like this, it's just re-emerging. So you've got the East Yorkshire branch, all the East riding together. You've got lots of good things happening within the city. You've got lots of good things happening outside. It's something we should shout about. We shouldn't hide ourselves. We should be proud of what's been achieved. And things like Business Week that build on the back of this, really, really great. And I'm, I'm, I'm proud to be part of it.